वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर 66 व्हिच सेज दैट ए मैन एक्स हैज सेवन फ्रेंड्स फोर ऑफ देम आर लेडीज एंड थ्री आर मेन हिज वाइफ वाई हैज आल्सो सेवन फ्रेंड्स थ्री ऑफ देम आर लेडीज एंड फोर आर मेन अज्यूम एक्स एंड वाई हैव नो कॉमन फ्रेंड्स देन द टोटल नंबर ऑफ वेज in which x and y together can throw a party inviting three ladies and three men so that three friends of each of x and y are in this party so it is a very significant question which we are going to discuss and this question we will try to make all the possible cases so we have been given a man x and his wife y x has seven friends four are ladies and three are gents let us write gents in place of men y has also seven friends out of which three are ladies and four are gents we will make the possible cases so the possibilities the possible cases to find out the required number of ways the possible cases so x can call three ladies and zero gents x can invite two ladies one gents x can invite one ladies and two gents or zero ladies and three gents for x similarly for y it can be now y can invite from three ladies and four gents y can invite zero ladies three gents or it can be one ladies two gents or two ladies one gent or it can be three ladies and zero gents right so the required number of ways the required number of ways will become the required number of ways that we are going to get will be 4c3 x is inviting all the ladies and y is inviting all the gents which can be done in 4c3 and you have to continue the same order so when x is inviting the two ladies then y is inviting the one lady and the other case whole square will come plus 4c1 into 3c2 right 4c1 means x is inviting one lady and two gents and y is inviting the two ladies and one gent okay or it can be the other way out whether you are going through this way or that way first ladies or gents first ladies or gents so again it will be square and lastly it will be 3c3 the whole square that means x is inviting x is inviting three gents and y is inviting the three ladies right so 3 and 3 so the other way it is 3 c1 into 4 c2 that's why we have taken a square and so on if you simplify this 16 plus 324 plus 144 plus 1 and the answer is 485 so the correct option is option 4 which is 485 option 4 option 4 is correct let's move to the next question find the value of 21c1 minus 10c1 plus 21c2 minus 10c2 so on up till 21c10 minus 10c10 let us solve it a easier example and we can rearrange pehle hum log rearrange kar lete hain 21c1 plus 21c2 plus 21c3 ye kahan tak कंटिन्यू करेगा अप टिल ट्वेंटी वन सी टेन माइनस टेन सी वन प्लस टेन सी टू 
and it will continue up till how much it will continue up till 10 c 10 we have to be very much careful that we cannot write this value as 2 to the power 21 there are two reasons first reason is we don't have the term 21 c naught and lastly the last term is not 21 c 21 so we can first introduce 21 c naught plus 21 c 1 up till 21 c 10 as we have added 21 c naught so let us subtract the same minus 10 c 1 so start here let us add up 10 c naught plus 10 c 1 up till 10 c 10 10 c 10 so we need to subtract 10 c naught and please see that this can be written as 21 c naught plus 21 c 1 up till 21 c 10 can be written as 1 by 2 21 c naught plus 21 c 1 up till 21 c 21 right minus 21 c naught is simply minus of 1 this is minus 2 to the power 10 minus 1 let us simplify this this is 1 by 2 2 to the power 21 minus 1 minus 2 to the power 10 plus 1 1 and 1 are getting cancelled this is 2 to the power 20 minus 2 to the power 10 this is the correct answer so the correct answer to this question is option 3 the correct answer is option 3 so you can write down that the correct answer is option 3 now let's move to the next question question number 68 for any three positive real numbers abc 9 into 25 a square plus b square plus 25 into c square minus 3 ac equals 15 b into 3 a plus c then which of the following option is correct so we can do this question in three or four steps and the logic behind this question is that we have to expand the given expression and we will try to put it into some identity so ye ho jayega, 9 into 25 a square plus 9 b square plus 25 c square minus 75 ac minus 45 b into a minus 15 b into c is equal to 0 if you observe this equation this can be written as 15 a the whole square plus 3 b the whole square plus 5 into c the whole square minus it is 15 a into 5 c minus this is 15 a into 3 b right minus we have 3b into 5c equals 0 and we know that this is only possible or we can apply the identity that is 15a minus 3b the whole square plus plus 3b minus 5c the whole square plus it is 5c minus 15a the whole square is equal to 0 and you know ye tabhi true hoga this equation when each and every term they are respectively equal to 0 right 3b minus 5c is equal to 0 and 5c minus 15a is equal to 0 right 15a should be equal to 3b is equal to 5c which can be written further as a by 1 equals b by 5 equals c by 3 so clearly we can say that we have b c a they are in a p right we can write the value of a as k b as 5 k and c as 3 k and it is quite clear that 2 c is equal to b plus a right so b c a are in a p so let us mark let us mark the correct option which is option 1 so the correct answer is option 1 option 1 is correct 
so question number 69 we will be solving this question and it is given that let ABC belongs to the set of real numbers if fx is given to be ax square plus bx plus c is such that a plus b plus c equals 3 so fx हमारे पास already given and that is equals ax square plus bx plus c and also we have been given a plus b plus c is equal to 3 right and one information is also given that is fx plus y is equal to fx plus fy plus xy correct now student we will try to apply the derivative concept over here we can write f dash x right we can write f dash x equals f dash 0 plus x let us understand how we have written we know that f dash x is equal to limit x tending to 0 fx plus h h is finitely small minus fx upon h we know this so in place of x plus h we can write fx plus fh plus x into h right we will simply get f dash 0 plus x that we have written that is what we have written over here now what is f dash at 0 f dash x kya hai? what is f dash x just differentiate the given function which is 2 a x plus b 2 a x plus b if I put x equals 0 f dash 0 will become b so it is actually b the value b so in place of f dash 0 we can write b so f dash x kitna ho gaya f dash x hamare paas ho gaya x plus b ye hamare paas ho gaya now simply put x equals 0 let us find the value of f 0 f 0 yani ki x or y ko agar hum 0 put karte hain to ye ho jayega f 0 equals f naught plus f naught x into y 0 into 0 is 0 so it is 0 so f 0 kya gaya value f 0 equals 0 put this value x equals 0 in the function f x it is equal c so the value of c equals 0 so we have obtained c is equal to 0 and also we have been given a plus b plus c is given to us in the question a plus b plus c is given to be 3 so what we are obtaining for the value of a plus b a plus b ho gaya 3 ho gaya right everybody got it that a plus b we are obtaining the value to be as 3 now let us check the second derivative f double dash x kya hai f double dash x ka value humare paas hai 1 f double dash x ka value kya hoga what will be the value of f double dash x f double dash x will be it is 1 that is equal to 2a from the given function so a is equal to 1 by 2 a is equal to 1 by 2 so if a is equal to 1 by 2 what will be the value of b b will be 3 minus 1 by 2 which is 5 by 2 everybody got we are able to find out the values of a b and c correct so a b and c we have obtained please check that f double dash x has been obtained by differentiating it we have differentiated this one right so this we will be getting one over here right f dash zero we have obtained as b a constant hai to ye zero ho gaya iska differentiation one so f double dash x equals one and that is equal to 2a so a b c ka value nikal gaya and the question is solved simply you can solve it as sn is equal to summation n is equal to 1 to n tn so tn ke simply it is 1 by 2 you can take common summation of n square plus 5 summation n simply solve this question and get the answer so that is fx let us write in terms of n to kya ho jayega a a ka value hai 1 by 2 yani ki 1 by 2 n square plus 5n got it just simplify that we have done over here so this value will be 1 by 6 n into n plus 1 into n plus 8 
simply put the value of n equals 10 so s10 you are going to obtain as 10 into 11 into 18 by 6 and the question is solved it is 330 so we are done with the solution so the correct answer is option 4 option 4 is correct option 4 so option 4 let's move to the next one so again we are going to do a very easy question we have to find out the value of this limit limit x tends to pi by 2 cot x minus cos x upon pi minus 2x the whole cube so let let us take pi by 2 minus x equals t if we take then the limit will be changed to limit t tending to 0 now cot x that is now x is pi by 2 minus t that is tan t this will change to sin t sin t upon this value is pi minus 2 x x we are putting pi by 2 minus t so this will become 8 t cube simplify this limit x tending to 0 this is sin t 2 sin square t by 2 2 sin square t by 2 upon 8 t cube this ko agar hum solve karenge to hamare paas answer a jayega 1 by 16 right so how it is 1 by 16 we know that limit x tends to 0 sin x by x equals 1 so you can pair this 1 t with this sin t and t square with this term so the final answer you will obtain 1 by 16 so the correct answer is option 1 so option 1 is correct option 1 